Welcome to Everything Currency. I'm your host, Jay, and today I just want to talk about, man, getting into cryptocurrency, there's a lot of things that people don't know. I have a lot of friends who are trying to get into cryptocurrency right now who are just like, hey, man, uh, how do I buy some Bitcoins because, you know, I need to invest into xrp and i'm like why would you need to buy bitcoin to invest into xrp xrp is one of those coins you can buy straight away or they might say hey uh what even is ethereum or you know i don't think any i don't think none of those cryptocurrencies are going to become the next dollar so i don't want to invest into it so i just want to talk about the different type of cryptocurrencies there are because if you come on coin gecko or coin market cap you can see that there's about 500 or 5600 cryptocurrencies in circulation right now <clears throat> what does that even mean is it just printing money a lot of people say hey uh crypto is just printing money and it's really not because there's a lot more to it than that so i'm gonna attempt to explain it to you guys in layman's terms best way i can without confusing you so that any normal person can understand it without having you know three or four years in cryptocurrency and finance like me so getting right into it you heard of bitcoin right so coming on coin market cap you see bitcoin it's the first cryptocurrency out there bitcoin runs on the technology called blockchain what blockchain is is just a, a distributed ledger if you don't know what a distributed ledger is look it up Learn a little bit about distributed ledgers, and then you can see how Bitcoin is just a decentralized distributed ledger. Normally, in a distributed ledger, you have a ledger, which is basically like a list, and you have it distributed between different people. So say a company, you have different companies, or say different people within a company. It, everybody has a copy of it. If one person changes it, everybody else can see it. So with a decentralized distributed ledger, you have, there's no central person who sees it. Like if it's in a company, that company is the central place of all that thing. For example, in Facebook, you have data transferring through a whole bunch of people all the time. And Facebook is the central data holder of all of that data. So it is centralized. If Facebook had that data between Facebook, Twitter, snapchat and you know tesla and all these different companies then it would be decentralized you know what i'm saying because there wouldn't be a central entity in charge so you know what that sound means that's your reminder to go ahead download the brave browser because you can earn crypto just from browsing the internet and start getting crypto for free as you're learning because as you know i don't recommend getting in if you don't know what you're doing because you're going to lose money and on this channel we don't let people lose money we don't want to lose money and that's why I'm going ahead and explaining the basics that the basics that people don't bother explaining these days. Um, so if you come down this list, Bitcoin is the first one. Ethereum is the second one. Now, what Ethereum did was they invented. So backtrack a little bit. Bitcoin wants to be a currency. You know what I'm saying? And it's becoming a store of value because, I mean, look at the price. You can store value in it, you know, and yeah. So it wants to be a currency. Ethereum, on the other hand, invented something called smart contracts. Well, they didn't, they didn't invent it, but they started utilizing it in a way where they mixed blockchain, the technology that Bitcoin runs on for its distributed ledger. And they took it and said, we're going to throw contracts on top of this and see how we can work this out. And what a contract actually is, it's not exactly a contract where you a smart contract is not exactly a contract where you're saying hey uh if you do this i'll do that and you have this contract between two parties a smart contract is basically just um a piece of code you know you have a chunk of code and it's going to do exactly what it says it's mathematically has to do exactly what it says and that's what makes it smart so people can use that to say hey look we can have some type of um, transaction go down once the work is completed. And then, you know, 
that's a smart contract because you don't have to have anybody in the middle who says yeah the work was completed like if you know if there's a problem with that contract you have to go to a judge which is the central entity and they have to sort it out for you but in a decentralized way you don't need that so ethereum they came out with that that's why they're number two and you have a bunch of other currencies that are trying to do that so they're not all trying to be currencies what do you mean okay let's just backtrack a little bit more there are different types of cryptocurrencies out there what cryptocurrencies are are basically outputs from the code from the ledger so like in bitcoin people need to sustain that ledger you need to incentivize people to sustain that ledger so what they did was said in this ledger we're going to invent a piece of code that's unduplicatable we're going to give it a limited supply and we're going to say that in order to get this piece of code which is bitcoin which is worth money you have to you know pay for it or mine whatever hope that makes sense if you have any questions put them in the comment box below i'm trying to make this simple and i'm all over the place with it but i gotta get this out there because people have to know so the different type of coins that there are there's supply chain coins those are coins that with the blockchain technology you can track everything you can basically track from the moment a piece of lettuce is planted to the moment that it gets to you know the Walmart grocery store or to Safeway. Um, you know what a supply chain is. These blockchains manage a supply chain. Some are centralized, some are decentralized. There's a bunch of them out there. Check those out. Then there's DeFi coins. These are decentralized finance coins. Basically, these are coins or cryptocurrencies that aim to help people become their own bank. Gaming coins <clears throat> are coins that are a result of somebody developing a game on the blockchain iot coins is the internet of things these are coins that and different blockchains I, I keep saying coins when i say coins i mean blockchains basically um these are this is these are blockchains that are working with the internet of things with um you know artificial intelligence stuff like that exchange coins are are exchange cryptocurrencies i'm gonna try, try to say it right exchange cryptocurrencies are cryptocurrencies that are used on exchanges for different reasons they might be used for voting they might be used to participate in token sales they might be used to get discounts stuff like that uh, data cryptocurrencies are cryptocurrencies that manage data hold data in secure ways make data decentralized make data data available so anything that has to do with data <clears throat> platform cryptocurrencies are cryptocurrencies that are the overall you know layer one solution for example like microsoft is a platform uh, android ios are platforms so if you can imagine with ios you can only download ios apps so with different platforms you can build different cryptocurrencies on top of them and they're called d apps decentralized apps or just dApps. <clears throat> privacy coins blockchains in general are just not private if it's distributed between everybody then that means everybody can see it so privacy coins aim to be exactly what it sounds like it's a privacy cryptocurrency it's a privacy coin privacy blockchain remittance these coins aim to make it easier for you to transfer money to your folks out of the country you know like for example if you live in the philippines and you want to send money to china or if you live in the u.s and you want to send money to mexico then these remittance cryptocurrencies make it cheaper because and cheaper and faster and easier because as you know that could be pretty expensive payment coins is exactly what it sounds like they're aiming to lead the mass adoption and try to help you get payments faster oracle coins help you get data from the outside sources onto the blockchains onto the smart contracts it connects the smart contracts to other data for example if you have a smart contract that says hey every time the price of bitcoin 
hits ten thousand dollars we're going to give this person a hundred dollars so we need some type of way for this smart contract to know that the price of bitcoin is actually hitting that price so oracles that was a very simplified probably not even that you know detailed way of explaining it but oracles and then lending coins basically you can lend cryptocurrency and gain interest and things like that so i put some examples down these are just right off the top of my head so <clears throat> supply chains we got v chain which has a lot of good partnerships looks good synthetics kyber this should be engine that should be an end right there iotx exchange coins bnb kcs gives you daily rewards um, daily interest on KCS, MCX, NAS, Max, and Leo. You got DAG, which works with the, uh, you know, the DOD. And you got RSK. We got platform coins. You got uh, ADA, which is working in a way that's a lot slower, but it's a lot more um, traditional. Which traditional is traditional money, and a lot of cryptos don't have the type of money that traditional uh, coins have. You got Neo. You got ETH um ethereum and you got icx privacy coins you got xvg and ccx i will add in there um xmr which is monero and also i will add in there um dash remittance you got xrp and xlm payments um fcx bitcoin link dos for oracles and celsius and I'll also add compound for lending so trying to help you guys learn a lot about the different type of coins out there if you have questions on this go ahead and leave it in the comment box I know it's kind of all over the place but I'm just trying to spew out a bunch of information so as this bull run starts to come in we can be ready and we can uh, make money not lose money so like subscribe turn on post notifications let me know what you guys think until next time peace Thank <laughs> you.